Hello and welcome to The Translation Show. I'm Emily McKenzie and today we'll be talking about translation management systems. First of all, what exactly is translation management system? Well, a translation management system, or a TMS, is a system that accelerates the translation process by automating much of the project management process and integrates CAT tools, glossaries and translation memory into a central platform that can be accessed by clients, translators and language service providers. Anyone who needs to translate a lot of content should consider using a TMS. This episode will examine the features of four major TMSs, their pros, their cons and the types of businesses they're most suited to. A lot of the features we will introduce are shared across all TMSs However, the performance and functionality of such features may vary depending on the system in question. Please note that this program will be based purely on our experiences. The four TMSs covered are just the ones we have used. There are many others. Memsource supports over 50 different file types, which makes it a very versatile piece of software. When you create a job, the project management feature allows you to either assign the job to a specific translator or post the job on Memsource's job board. Once a translator has accepted your job, you can view their progress in real time. Memsource offers translation memory management, whereby all previous translations are stored in a memory that can be updated in real time. Translation memory management increases internal consistency and reduces costs, as translators will not need to retranslate already translated pieces of content. Memsource also features terminology management. Your glossaries or term bases can be completely integrated into the workflow, which means that translators can access the glossary as they're doing the translation. The glossary is searchable and can be updated in real time. Memsource has several QA features built into it. Once a translator has finished translating a piece of content, it automatically checks for spelling mistakes, missing terminology and inconsistencies. If a piece of content contains any of these errors, it will be flagged up with a warning so that you know it will probably require corrections. Now that we've looked at Memsource's features, let's evaluate its pros and cons. First of all, let's look at its pros. Memsource is a cloud-based piece of software, which means you can access it anywhere with an internet connection. It allows you to fully automate your translation workflows right from client requests all the way to delivery. It is available to both enterprises and translation companies and has an open API. This means that you can plug it into your internal project management portals and also connect with your client CMSs through a connector. Connectors are available from third-party developers. Another advantage of Memsource is that it offers mobile licenses, which means that your translators don't need to buy a CAT tool, thereby expanding your pool of potential translators. Now let's look at Memsource's cons. There is no in-context review portal. This means that when translators are doing the translations, there's no way of them to see how their final content will be laid out in the final version. This may matter for things such as website button text, where shorter translations may be necessary in order to fit the text into the button. Also, Memsource does not accommodate more complex workflows. Memsource works sequentially in that tags are added to each step in the workflow simply to allow translators to be assigned. There are also a limited number of mobile licenses available depending on your subscription, which means that you can only work with a limited number of translators if they have not bought their own CAT tool. Memsource is most suitable for translation agencies and enterprises working with translators, either in-house or freelance. SDL World Server offers translation memory management and terminology management. It also offers workflow customization. This means that you can change the workflow for different kinds of translation, such as marketing material versus a technical document. You can designate subject experts to work on these different projects so that you are always using the very best people for each job. SDL World Server has several QA features. Translators can attach comments and questions to the content so that quality can be maintained and improved as it moves between different translators and reviewers. Now let's look at the pros of SDL World Server. 
World Server is probably the most robust and established system out there. It is a very traditional system, which means that anyone with experience using SDL products should find it easy to use. It can either have server-based or cloud-based setup. A server-based setup is best for small teams of in-house translators or for teams concerned about privacy, whereas cloud-based setup is better if you have external agencies you need to share content with. Another advantage of SDL World Server is that it allows you to customise workflows in great detail with sequential or even concurrent steps and even steps that can be re-triggered. For example, if a translation is rejected at review stage, it can go back to the original translator. In terms of leverage from translation memories, or TMs, you can define group TMs and give them a priority as well as penalties. This means that, for example, you can reach out to TMs beyond your team only for the content not found in your TMs and assign them a penalty so that they have to be reviewed. The final pro is that as SDL Trado Studio is one of the most popular CAT tools for freelance translators and language service providers, this means that anyone with Studio can work with files created directly within SDL World Server. Now, let's look at SDL World Server's cons. World Server is one of the most expensive translation management systems available. This is because prices are based on the total translation volume, meaning that the more you translate, the higher the cost. There is also no in-context review portal, meaning that translators cannot see how their translations will be laid out in the final version, which may matter for things like artwork created in InDesign. Furthermore, translators must have their own studio license in order to work with files prepared and managed within World Server. For translators without a studio license, there is a web translation interface. However, this is not as powerful as the standard desktop studio tool. And finally, although there is an API available to plug directly into your client CMSs, it needs to be heavily customized in order to allow a direct connection. This customization must be done by a team of developers on your side. SEO World Server is particularly useful for in-house translation teams. Smartling offers translation memory management. It also offers workflow customization, meaning that you can edit workflows for different projects. Smartling offers several QA features. For example, you can integrate your glossary and style guide into your projects so that translators can quickly and easily access these resources. Smartling also has reporting and analytics features, allowing you to see website traffic, for example, so that you can see how your translated content is performing. So what are Smartling's main pros? Well, Smartling is an incredibly useful tool for website translation. It offers in-context translation and review, which means that translators can see exactly what their translations will look like on the page they'll be published on. This can be especially helpful for things like titles and button text, where the translated text may need to be of a certain length in order to fit on the line or within the button. Also, Smartling does not require users to have a license. This means that an unlimited number of translators can have a profile created for them. Furthermore, Smartling offers the Global Delivery Network, or GDN, a complementary product that automatically highlights new content for translation when it is added to the site and immediately pushes it for translation. Now let's look at Smartling's cons. The integration and setup process is controlled by Smartling. This means that you have limited control. Also, if it is not configured properly in the beginning, it can cause problems. For example, problems identifying which content actually needs to be translated. If it is not configured properly at first, it can be difficult to reconfigure later down the line. The same goes for the GDN, as small changes such as changing a capital letter or adding a full stop can result in content being pushed for translation when no changes requiring retranslation have actually been made. Smartling is best for companies that want to crowdsource or focus on freelance translators. MemoQ offers translation memory management, terminology management, and workflow automation. It also has an automated QA feature. 
MemoQ automatically checks translations for punctuation, capitalization and formatting errors, lack of translation consistency and the use of banned terms the absence of any terms that should be included, number mismatches between the original and translated text, and possible errors caused by editing, or not editing, text automatically brought in by the translation memory. Let's examine MemoQ's pros. MemoQ is another traditional system, which means that anyone with experience using Kilgrey products should find it easy to use. It can either have a cloud-based or server-based setup. MemoQ is compatible with SDL Trados and other popular CAT tools, which makes it a good, flexible option for companies that use several different CAT tools. MemoQ allows you to integrate different quality models into the workflow, helping to ensure tight linguistic QA checks. It also allows you to lend licenses to your translators on a temporary basis, typically for the duration of the job, so that they do not need to have a MemoQ license themselves thereby expanding your pool of potential translators. MemoQ also offers translator performance tracking capabilities. MemoQ LQA, Linguistic Quality Assurance, is configurable within the system, meaning that you can keep track of your translator's performance following a scoring matrix. Now let's look at MemoQ's cons. There is no in-context review portal, meaning that translators cannot see how their translations will be laid out in the final version, which may matter for things like software button text. Also, although there is an API available to plug directly into your client CMS, it needs to be heavily customized in order to allow a direct connection. And this customization must be done by a team of developers on your side. Furthermore, the workflow steps are defined by MemoQ and cannot be customized to suit your specific needs. MemoQ is suitable for in-house translation teams, although it does allow you to send content to freelancers and external agencies if needed. I hope this has helped provide useful introduction to the world of translation management systems. Check out our website translation Q&A and how to improve efficiency with translation memory tools videos within Catchup TV to find out more about translation tools. See you next time for more translation tips.